What would happen if you need to create a hole into this cylinder? I'm going to show you how to do it with this other cylinder. So I want to duplicate the cylinder. I want to only use this the edge loop of the top. So I'm going to erase what I don't need. And now I'm going to delete the the face that is inside the top of the cylinder by pressing X and choosing only faces so I can maintain the, the edge loop press R X 90 so now my edge loop is in front of the cylinder I'm going to scale it something like this and now I'm going to project the, the edge loop to the onto the cylinder using the shrink wrap modifier this one I want to select the shrink wrap select as a target the cylinder choose the option project when you choose the option project it will ask you in which axis you want to project you need to just clicking the different axis until you get the axis that you need in my case i use the y axis and also you need to check if you need to project onto the positive side of the axis or the negative side of the axis in my situation with positive check is okay apply the modifier and join the edge loop with the cylinder so i'm going to press shift and click to select both objects and now i'm going to press ctrl j to join ctrl j and now both of the objects are now only one i'm going to edit mode so we can edit the faces the polygons to create the hole to join this this set tube to the rest of the cylinder and create the hole we need to create some other vertices so we can connect it properly so the first step i'm going to do is press ctrl r ctrl r is the create edge loops so ctrl r and i'm going to add an edge loop below the circle another over the, the circle and i'm going to add three edge loops here so we can connect the circle into the cylinder it's very important to have this, the exactly edge loops and vertices to have clean topology. If you do it and you can get the exactly amount of geometry of faces or vertices, don't worry, just modify the, the amount of, of edges and it should be right. So here I'm, I'm pressing click and shift click and then F to create faces or edges and I'm, I'm showing in um, creating the faces to, to reconstruct the surface click, shift click and F to create the, the face shift, uh, click, shift, click and F and here we have the, the circle alt and click so you can select the edge loop, the inner edge loop and now you can press E for extrude so you can extrude it outwards or inwards in, in our case we are going to extrude it inwards with the Y axis so now we have the, the hole 